What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for tuning in for another quick little channel CG video. For this one, we're going to give the DTS a little bit of TLC, if you will. I know the oil hasn't been, like, physically changed since the whole heavy gasket ordeal, and just kind of want to get things cleaned up, get the oil changed, look things over, and make sure everything's holding together since the project was finished. But primarily what I want to do is get that oil change done because it hasn't been done. reason I'm introing the video in the car, by the way, is because it is really windy out. So you probably can't hear me at all, but before we do anything like the oil change or anything, the car is really filthy dirty right now, so I want to get it cleaned up a little bit. So let's do a little bit of time lapse, uh, a little bit of time lapse detailing. Well, my camera died before before I completely finished the wash, but basically all I did was finish getting a rinse off. I dried it off with a microfiber, and we're looking good now. So I just got the oil for the car, and I also got an oil filter that I'm going to be replacing as well. I just got Penn's oil, 5W30. Standard stuff, simple is better. Then I stopped at Napa, and I got an $8 gold filter. Simple enough. But on this car, it's a, according to this anyways, it's a seven and a half quart oil change. That's kind of a pain in the butt, but luckily I have some more of that exact Penn's oil laying around, so we'll be fine as far as that's concerned. But before I go any further, I need to figure out where the oil filter is on this thing. I have a feeling it's probably going to be in an inconvenient spot up under the car, but uh, we shall see. Ah, yes, I was right. It is kind of inconvenient, but it's definitely not the worst I've ever seen. Definitely not as bad as the PT Cruisers. If you come up under the front bumper here in the car, if you come just behind all this plastic shrouding here, and there's this uh, cross member or whatever, I don't know if it's part of the engine rail or not, just behind that, there's the oil filter right there. Right there. Kind of a pain to get to, but it's not bad. I can still lay under the car and not completely squish myself and reach up in there and get it loose. I was going to try to locate the oil drain plug, you know, just in case anybody watching this was wondering where it was located, but what I'm going to attempt to use is this little uh, $20 oil pump and pump it out the dipstick like I usually do. The only problem is this little pump is electric and it clamps onto like the battery terminals, but the battery is located in the trunk. So I'm going to try to run it here because I think I might be able to clamp onto this and get it to work, but we shall see. All right, well, I got the uh, little pump to work by putting Red here, ground I put on this motor mount, and it was pumping, but I couldn't get anything to come up out of the dipstick. This is the dipstick right here. I don't understand why it's not sucking it up, if I can't get it down in there far enough or what, but maybe there's a bend in the in the dipstick, something down there that this just won't quite go around. Either way, looks like I'm gonna be um, looking for the drain plug after all. But actually, the drain plug isn't the worst ever to get to either. So coming from the front of the car here, if you go back, back past where I showed you the uh, oil filters, oil filters right there, just behind that back here is where the drain plug is. You can actually, it's, I think it's going to be a little easier to access it from the front, but you can see it better from the side, so I'll go over there and show you it. Up here under the wheel, go up under the car here, you can see it right there. Anyways, I guess next step is to get that loose and drain the oil, finally. <laughs> All right, well, I finally just got this off. You know what, I was, I was not gonna tell you how I got the drain plug off, I was just gonna be like, whew, finally got it off, that was a lot of work. But, you know what, as Evan Shanks would say, 
I don't freaking give a heck. I make you guys cringe a lot on this channel with my mechanical skills, so hey, why not make you cringe again? I use this little, little apparatus. Impact, socket adapter, little twisty thing, 15 mil. Before you tell me, I know it's a bad idea, extremely bad idea to use a impact wrench of any sort like on the drain plug, but that sucker was not coming off, and I was at the point where I figured, you know what, I'm either going to have to jack this car up, get a breaker bar on it, and hopefully break it loose, or I can crawl up under there with the impact wrench. Either way, I mean, if the threads are bad, threads are bad. And probably either one is going to strip it. So I grabbed the impact, very carefully just started to back it out, and it just took like one one tap. It just took like one tap of the trigger, and it's finally cracked loose. So everything's okay, but I personally don't recommend you do that, and I'm sure nobody else would, but it worked. Anyways, now that I've hopefully justified my poor actions. I've got to crawl up under there and get the oil filter out. I'm still waiting for the oil to drain though, but then I can crawl up under there and do that. Hopefully this isn't too tight. Oh yes. Thank God I can loosen this by hand. I was a little nervous for a second there that that was going to be on way too tight. Uh oh, it's dripping. Uh oh. Uh oh, wait. Wait. The drain pan's not under you yet. Oh, you guys cannot see a thing, can you? That's a mess. That's a big mess. That's nasty. But anyways, now that the filter's finally off, we can put the new filter on and fill the car with oil, and then the oil change is done. Right, it was kind of hard to film while I put the filter in because I was basically feeling around for the threads because I can't really see up in here, it's dark. Needless to say, I got the filter in there, snugged it down with my hand. I also put the oil drain plug on. I don't think I showed that either, but I've tried to fit a torque wrench under there to torque it down correctly this time but I couldn't fit my uh, torque wrench in there, so I just snugged it down till it, you know, it felt right. I think the torque spec is like 15 or 20 foot-pounds, but don't quote me on that one. Redneck funnel in place. Alright, I put in about seven and a half quarts. I just check the dipstick and it's looking okay but I'm gonna start up warming up and double check that. I also pop this engine cover off. It literally just pops on to uh, these. I pop it off because I wanted to clean up a little oil spill here because I'm, I'm, I didn't pay attention. But actually while this is off I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna get it cleaned up a little bit because I don't know how well you can see it on camera but it is very dirty and it's literally the first thing you see when you open the engine so get that cleaned up a little. But first let's get the car started up and double check the oil. Let the car warm up for a few minutes. Let's check it. You probably can't see that, but it's actually kind of low. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to add a little bit more. All right, well, I added another quart. I let it warm up a little bit again, and it seems okay now. I guess we're good. primary reason, though, I, I did the oil change was I wanted to, you know, refresh the oil because I think it hasn't been changed since the engine was opened up and everything. For those of you who haven't followed the channel for a while then you probably don't know we actually did the head gaskets on this. We replaced them and the heads came off and everything so we basically we took the motor apart and, and did those. It's been probably about 3,000 miles, 3 4,000 miles since that was done so I wanted to do that oil change and while I was at it just look for anything in the oil like I guess any foreign materials or whatever you want to call it. This is good to do, you know, since the motor was opened up and oil that came out of it looked perfectly fine. It looked like oil that would normally be in a car for like three or four thousand miles like that. Actually, probably not even that many miles on the car since uh, since the heads got finished. So, anyways, now that's done, let's clean up this uh, little engine cover real quick.
I'm also going to clean this up a little while I'm at it. I spilled some oil on it. Now that's dry, I'm gonna spray it with just a little bit of this really good tire shine I use. Eagle One, I highly recommend it, I use it all the time. Normally what I use for the tires though is Eagle One makes a applicator sponge. I always use that and it works really good and then I don't get any on the rims because I'm fussy about that. But for this I'm just gonna spray a little bit on some of these parts. Use yet another microfiber and just rub a little bit in. Hopefully it'll give it a little bit of shine. That looks pretty dang good. <laughs> Let's pull it out into the sunlight and see how it really looks. Alright guys, well thanks for watching this quick little channel CG video. I know it wasn't that much of a video, but I decided to throw something together while I gave the DTS some needed TLC. A quick little oil change, we got it cleaned up, which is of course my favorite thing to do. If you couldn't tell already, I think I'm more of a detailer than I am a mechanic, but hey, you know, <laughs> it takes all kinds, right? So anyways, be sure and comment down below with any questions about the video or just anything you'd like to say. We always have a good time in the comments. Also, I think later today, at least later in the day that uh, this is being filmed, I don't know when this is coming out, but Brian is going to be coming over and we're going to be taking a closer look at some of the uh, persisting issues, shall we say, that the, uh, that the PT Cruiser is having. So watch for at least an update video, hopefully this weekend, this Sunday probably. Anyways guys, thanks again for watching this one. You rock. God bless. And I will see you in the next one. Yeah.